sure to get your play mat today at tsx1.com. So, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Samrex right here. Happy Saturday! Whoa! Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy... Yeah. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Hopefully you guys had a great time. Today's video is gonna be a crazy one, all right? And you guys are about to see something crazy. Literally the title says it all. But before we get started with this video, guys, I just wanna say there is a huge Boxing Day sale going on right now at TX1.com. So if you guys are looking to get your play mats, the whole entire website is on sale. So make sure you guys visit TX1.com to get your play mats today. All play mats on the store will be on sale. If you guys are looking to get your Spellcaster Christmas play mat, get it now, guys. The mat's on sale. So what are you guys waiting for? Visit TX1.com for some awesome Boxing Day sale. And guys, before I get started with the video, don't forget to press that button, that button, that thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh videos, man. Smash thumbs up button, and let's get straight into today's video. Literally, the title will say it all, guys. This video is insane. Guys, literally in front of you, I have gold mine. Literally gold. You guys have probably already seen my boy SS right here. This is Strictly Sealed on eBay, on Instagram. He's one of the most renowned collectors here in Toronto. Yo, Strictly Sealed, bro, how long have you been collecting? Like, can you give us a little bit of history about, you know, uh, you know, how you got into Yu-Gi-Oh! and basically how you came upon collecting this box right here before we show it off? I collected, like, all throughout high school. I was, like, the... I was the collector with, like, the OG cards mm -hmm. while everybody else collected, like, the meta stuff. So... I would, I would always like try to trade with people and they would always be like, yo, we don't want, we don't want this like old crap. I got out of the game because I hit university. Right. And then I started actually dealing with figurines. I just did that as like for fun, just to fund university. Right. And one of my figurine friends, he came and he showed me a DDS PSA 10 card. Wow. And this was like in 2016, 2015, like midway there. And I was like, after when I saw that, I was like, yo, how much do you want for that? And at the time, it was going for like six, seven hundred bucks. Which, which, which card was this? Blue Eyes? DDS Blue Eyes PSA 10. PSA yeah. 10. So, <laughs> so $600 at that time. Yeah, $600 okay. at that time. He was like, yo, I, I just want to get rid of it. Because at that time, actually, DDS Blue Eyes like shot up to like fifteen dollars to $2,000. And then it crashed down because everybody started grading theirs. And he just wanted to get rid of it, and I per picked it up from him. I mean, after that, it was like it was a like game over. I just started like buy, buying, <laughs> buying, selling, um, collecting, and I like every here, uh, like every time I purchased something, I would always keep something in my collection, and I'll sell the rest. Right. And then just constantly doing that over and over again until I mean. I would probably say like my sealed collection is probably like one of the biggest like. Estimate like how big is your collection? Um. I would say like, like five hundred thousand US. What? This guy said five hundred thousand US. What? Yo, it's a house. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh. Before we dive in to see this crazy collection, like, how much do you think this box cost? Like, like how much is, is this whole box, and even this too, even this binder right here? How much do these um, cost? Like, estimate, like you think. In US. Like, like minimum, minimum 200K. 200K in my face. So Omar, what's in this binder right here? All right, so uh, I am a PSA BGS collector, but for the most part, I love like actually like touching the cards. So for me, like binder collection is like the epitome of, uh, you know, collecting. So in here is a complete LOB first edition set pack fresh mint like every single card was pack pulled and straight into the sleeve and into the binder so like everything is like guaranteed psa 9 if not psa 10 guaranteed and i guarantee it. i think it's harder to find something like this than it is to find a psa 10 because i mean nobody everybody graded like they're truly mint cards and right. nobody's opening the boxes anymore so like it's very hard to find uh okay. truly mint cards all right oh yo wow Holy crap. So this is mint. Yeah, look, this is 100% mint. To be honest, I only know how much the blue eyes are worth. Like, I don't know how much any of these cards are. So the card that you pulled out is Trihorn Dragon. Yeah. So, okay, so how much is this card worth? So this is a wavy copy. Okay, so what's a wavy? Like, I, I don't know any of that. Oh, actually, you could see it here. Like, you can see in the light, it's like a wavy card. It oh. kind of has waves in the, in the foiling. 
um, and you can see like on the back it's like pack fresh mint like a, this was pulled straight from the pack and into the sleeve yo bro you know what's crazy the last time i saw these sleeves is probably when i was like 11 years old bro these sleeves are super old even these sleeves are actually extremely hard to find like bro i remember <laughs> coming here to into dollies when i was like nine years old and they would sell these sleeves yeah even these sleeves um what's it called like <laughs> they're, wow. they're very very soft yeah so the guy who i picked these up from he actually had the whole set except metal raiders wow every single one from lob to ancient sanctuary and at the time i remember when i paid for it i paid eleven thousand dollars for the whole collection complete set pack freshman the guy basically had cases and he basically opened all of them picked the best copies put them in the sleeves how long ago was this he told me he did it in like 2012. So. Wow, so cool, man. And I bought it from him in 2000. Let me buy that. And last, I bought it from him last year. Yeah, yeah let me buy that, bro. $11,000, <laughs> bro. Oh, man. Okay, so how much is this Tri-Horn Dragon? So this is like, I would say it's a little OC, top to bottom. But it can, it, off center. Off center, yeah. Okay. So it can get the 10, but it's unlikely. So I would say it's PSA 9 price, BGS 9.5. So I would say it's like 500 US. Is there a big price difference between this and a 9 and a 10? Like how, yeah, how so a 10 is like $2,000 and a 9 is like $500, which tells you that like PSA 9, a clean PSA 9 is a huge bargain in my opinion. Wow, okay. Because the difference is not that, so this one like it's truly a mint card, but it's going to get a 9 because of the centering. Wow. So I mean, I, for me, I, I would rather have like this for $500 and buy something else than pay $2,000 $2, for like just a wow. well-centered one. All right, bro. So how much is this right here? Guys, this is the grail right here. This is Kaiba himself right here how much is this so right, i mean like if if i wanted to buy it right now i mean if i saw this and somebody showed me this copy i would be, i would offer them like 20 grand to be honest because <gasps> I, want to, I want to get a psa 10 so it would get this can get the 10. Yeah. wow so 20 g's up to 20 g's right here is what this card is looking like wow okay i'm gonna go through the next page okay okay honestly okay I'll, i want to know your opinion which one is more popular blue eyes or dark magician in my opinion dark Magician. Uh, blue eyes yeah in blue your eyes. opinion blue eyes right yeah. and and it's always been like that like it's always been, yeah, the blue eyes is the face. Like oh, the face, wow. The face of Yu -Gi -Oh. Like, so, how much is Dark Magician, this one? So this one, you can probably get a thousand. This is a wavy copy. Um, pretty much all of them are wavy except Gaia and the blue eyes. Um, the guy didn't know the difference at the time, so. Okay, nice. And obviously, like, the Trinity, right? Like, there's also red eyes in here? Yeah, the red eyes is also in here. And these are all, like, like uh, they're all coded, right? Like, with the Yeah, with the so they're all, all coded by the number here. So they go up like this. Wow, yeah. nice. Beautiful. Where's that red eyes though? Uh, blue, I think it's LOB-70. Oh, this guy knows every... Uh, yeah, whoa, it's right whoa. here. Yeah. Dash yeah, 70. Th th this is it. Okay, so is it all like, it's... I feel like the, the, yeah, the name so is lowered. Yeah, so the name shape. is lowered. So a, a good easy way to tell if something is uh, wavy is usually if the name is lowered, it's most likely wavy. Like if the person didn't put it under light, wow. um, that's the way to know. So this is like a wavy copy. Wow. And what, like, what other cards are worth more in here? Like, you think? So, so this is say, the whole set. I would right? say those three, and then this page right here. Wow. With the full Exodia set. Wow. All pack fresh mint. This is pack fresh mint. This is pack fresh mint. I have a question. Okay, so I have an Exodia head mm -hmm. at home. Okay, it's first edition, yeah. LOB, but the back is in Asia. Okay. Like, is, is that fake? Like, like. No. Whoa. So Asian copy. So uh, LOB was released in like the Asian ish oceanic countries, uh, and at that time. I mean, first edition LOB was like mass produced. So like the Asian English, I mean, it's still good money now because this is getting out of reach for most collectors, like most regular people. They, they can't really afford this anymore. So they do go for the Asian English, which is, I would say it's like maybe like a step down. I mean, I mean, in the hierarchy, this is number one. And then Asian. right after is Asian English, right? Okay. I would rather collect Asian English than like a foreign language or yeah. something like that. You know what I mean? How much? Does this whole set go for like the exotic pieces like if you were to sell it psa tens i mean 15 a complete set you could probably get 15 grand us wow psa tens yeah wow and do you think those prices will generally go up in the future to be honest with you as somebody who's like opened a lot of lob himself yeah these cards are off center a lot mm. and and it's very hard to get tens um even nines to be honest with you like it's it's quite hard it's quite rare to get nines nowadays so i do think that the supply of raw cards is definitely depleting. Wow. So, yeah. It's beautiful, And bro. this is the guy, the Dragon Champion right here. This is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, so this is this comes out exclusively from the packs that you have, wow. that you picked up. Wow, yeah. so if I pulled that, how much would you buy it for? 
like straight up if I got it. I mean, if it's uh, if it's like, like this, this quality, yeah, I mean, I, I'll pay you like double, probably. Wow. Yeah, like probably two k. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I'll buy more packs of that then. These are just some extras. This is another Hello Be Blue Eyes first two, edition. You have two in here? Yeah, but this one, it has a white spot oh, right like, there. Oh, like a little whiting, yeah. whiting, yeah. That's like the only white spot. That's the only defect on that card. Wow, but everything I feel like it looks perfect, man. Yeah, these are like either I pulled or somebody you else pulled. pulled. This? No, no. Uh, this was actually the copy that he gave me. Yeah. Like when I first purchased this collection, it was this copy. I actually had uh, one that I pulled myself that I sent in, it got a PSA 9. I was angry that they gave it a Jeez. PSA 9. I cracked it and I put it in there. That's the one that you see right there wow. at the front. Wow. So this is actually my own copy. Like I graded this to be a 10, but I mean, they, they kind of screwed me on that. Wow. So I, I ended up not sending it. And these are just like some the extras. extras wow. So like this one I pulled, you guys know what this is? Yes, TV. T TV8 Harpies Feather Dust, so this is like a G. Wow. Okay, how much is this worth, like mint? People really don't understand right now how rare these ultis are. So this is actually one in 12 boxes. So one, one, one per case. And you're one not even, per case. And you're not even guaranteed exactly. to get this in a case. You are guaranteed to get in a case. So oh, you get, okay. so there's four ultra ultimates, for example, of every GX set. So in this one, there's Rampart Blaster, this one, Shining Flare, Tempest, and Wild Edge. Right. You get one of each in the, in the sealed case. All right. This one's actually a rare copy. This is actually an Asian English. How do you know? Oh, so, AE. Oh. AE. So this one is actually like, so as Asian English was actually released, every single set, it got rarer and rarer. Right. Okay, so GX sets are basically extinct. Like, I mean, I've never seen a single booster box ever for sale. Not a single GX. But you have one, a box. How much is the booster box? None of this. Not oh. Asian English. I have, I have a regular NA. Uh, regular NAs are around like three thousand dollars. A box? Yeah. That is crazy. Like two bro. to three thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh my god. But this one is like Asian English. The box is like extinct. Like I have never seen one. Because I, I want one. I want one for my collection. I've never ever seen it. How much does this cost? Like you think? This is a G. This is a thousand dollars. Wow. And PSA ten it, is like how much? I would say like six thousand, six fifty, seven thousand. Wow. But that's, in my opinion, that's undervalued compared to like just how rare these cards are to get compared to those. Wow. Wow, okay. Yo, I've seen this $55,000 on eBay. Is, 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 is that a fake pricing or? I would say this is like $2,500 US. 2,500, not, not 55,000. No, no, not, not I've, I've seen people prices yeah. of 55,000. No, that's, that's, this one's actually pack pulled. So you pulled that? Uh, actually, some uh, I sold a tin to somebody and he opened it and I had to trade him like an arm and a leg and a couple of children for him. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. To get, to get this off of him. Wow, so this is really rare. Like this is a misprint. Yeah, this is actually extremely rare. Actually on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna be posting a video on how you can acquire this. This is really, really difficult to get. Like Wow, Yeah. that is crazy. Guys, yeah, and this that. one, my, my wife pulled it. Wow, <laughs> and these don't come in first heads? No, so the misprint doesn't come in first set. It can only be pulled from the tins. Like there's a lot of rumors that say that you can get it from the special editions. You cannot, you can only get this from the tins. Wow. And then each tin is like 300 bucks. And then you talk, you only get one pack in the tin. Ghost share is one every 288 packs. So you have to open 288 tins to get this card. 288 tins, just so And each tin is like 300 bucks, so. <laughs> well, that's that's, a, that's the next I mean? level, man. And this is also wow. This is beautiful, man. Yeah. Cyber Dragon. I actually never seen LT. Yeah, this, this is a gorgeous. This is a European copy. Wow. You can tell because the stars are a lot more like more like prominent. Yeah, more, prominent. More, exactly. more defined. Wow. This these cards are beautiful, man. This one was pack pulled. Wow, you pulled this. Yeah. Oh my God, TLM man, the Lost Millennium. All right, all right, strictly sealed. Okay, this was. Oh, this is the first. All right, guys. <laughs> we haven't gotten to the good the good stuff yet. All right, now it's time. All right, so this box right here. You said the whole thing, this binder and this box, you said $200,000. Yeah, probably. Easily, USD. All right, guys, come. Let's take a look at this. May I open it? Go ahead. Please. <laughs> this guy is Kaiba himself, man. <laughs> okay, so let's go on from the least expensive to the most expensive. How about that? Starting from the back, these are uh, first edition wavy LOB super rares. Holy moly, guys, I'm getting goosebumps. Look at my arm, bro. Uh, this is Flame Swords, man. Raigeki. Wow. Uh, this is not wavy, this is uh, glossy. So these are approximately like 1500 each other than Man Eater. Man Eater is like 800 to 1000. So these are $1,500 each? 1500 US, yeah. Wow. This one's like, you can get like, you can get 2000 for this one. Wow. Yeah. 
This is absolutely gorgeous, man. I don't remember which ones I, I submitted myself or to be honest with you. I, I mean, I've submitted a lot. I've graded a lot. I mean, I've graded at least like four copies of Flame Swordsman myself. So next we have... Wow, PSV. First edition Jinzo. How much does it cost? 2,500. 2,500 PSA yeah. 10, wow. It's very like liquid at 2,000. Like I have a lot of people that offer like 2,000, 2,200. That's why I say 2,500. 25 is like fair. PSA 10, Beast Skull Dragon. Oh, yo. First edition. Beast Skull Dragon, this is crazy. Yeah, so this is around like 2,500. The GX Grails are here. So the Cyber and Dragon. Flame Wingman? Cyber, Cyber Dragon. Dragon. Okay. And Shining Flare Wingman. Wow. So these are like the Holy Grails you said? These are probably like the hardest cards to get. Wow. Guys, take a look at this. So you said this is like 6K, right? I would say, yeah, like conservatively 6K, yeah. And this is US pricing we're talking about? US, yeah. Guys, look how beautiful this card looks. Honestly, like I, I feel like the OTs back in the day look so much better than they do now. Yeah, I, like, I agree, just... because the border is, like it's just the, the picture and the stars are the, like the imprinted, but like the new OTs, they have like the border imprinted on them. Yeah, side. yeah, exactly, wow. So these cards look super clean, man. And how much is Cyber Dragon? So, I know that Roxanne got offered like 3,500 for his. For a like PSA 10. A few offers for 3,500, yeah. So I'd say like 4,000 is fair. This one is like six to 7,000. Like both of, both of the Shining Flare wow. and the Cyber End are like on the same level. That is beautiful, man. This is crazy. So this is an OCG card. Okay. So this is uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare Dark Magician Ultimate Rare. Like take a look at this hollow. I mean, this hollow is incredible. L-O-N? Yeah. Bro, so they released this in Labyrinth Nightmare in Japan. Like, yeah, they put so, a copy in there. Yeah, so uh, this was, like, because basically they just combined set, this was a reprint set, but because it's like a, the ultimate rare, it, it fetches like very, very high dollar wow. amount, $2,000, $3,000. Wow, like even in 10? In 10, yeah. In raw copy, it's like 800 bucks. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Look how beautiful this looks. Uh, this is like a this. gorgeous copy. Gorgeous copy, man. And like the cool thing about OCG cards is that like the picture, you see the picture, it's like bigger than regular. Yeah, regular. Yeah, so huge. Like the, Text is small. And, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like super prominent, right? Which focuses on the art. Wow. Oh yeah, because the original one, they just cut off the... Exactly. They just cut it off here, which, oh. which is why I like these OCG copies. Wow. Like you guys see the difference between there, like the frame yeah. between these two? That is beautiful, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. So this art right here for Dark Magician only comes in in the structure deck. Originally, right? This in, in TCG? In the starter deck, right? Yugi? Yeah, so this one comes in DDS and start, st uh, starter deck Yugi, yeah. Mm, but the other the other one comes in LOB. The, like other, the other? Yeah, the other one. Wow. All right. Oh my, what's That's next? That's the fan favorite. OCG still. This is the first Blue Eyes ever made. First ever made? Ever made. Yeah. Ever made. Okay. Like, okay, this is the first playable Blue Eyes. Like, this is the one that everybody could actually, like, you know, this is like where. If you wanted to get blue eyes, this is the one that you get. Wow. This one is actually extremely hard to grade um, because like it comes loose in the box. Mm -hmm. So it shakes a lot. And this is a very, very low pop. I think it's like pop four, pop five, something like that, which is extremely rare. All of these are like pop 40 something. Like, like, like population wise? Yeah, like was... uh, how many tens there are. Yeah, so this is an extremely hard card to grade. So there's only five in the world, you said right now? Yeah, PSA 10, yeah. There's only five of these in the world. Yeah. Here's okay. some heat. <laughs> oh, okay, so so we're getting better. Okay, so you're Kaiba himself right here. So how much does this cost? Strictly sealed. So I know there's someone that's purchasing it right now. From you? For, no, not from me. From some, uh, from another person for $15,600. USD for USD one? For one of them, yeah. Holy so. moly. Okay, how many tens do you have? Three. You have three? Oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's Kaiba. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, wow, this is gorgeous, guys. Take a look at this. And this was the first, uh, no, this one. This is the first, this is the card that I picked up from that guy. Like, on this was my first card that I ever purchased. Like, this is the exact Ten, same 600 one. 600 bucks. Yeah, this is the one that I got for 600 bucks. Yeah. Wow, that is ridiculous, bro. Okay, and do you have the game? How much does the game cost? Uh, I have a sealed game. The game is, I mean, event, originally, okay, it wasn't that expensive. It was like you can get it for like two to three thousand dollars, but now it's like pretty extinct. So I would say it's like, 8,000, I mean, now I, I'm not sure to be honest. I, yeah. I mean, it's guaranteed one in there, right? Like, so it's gu like, guaranteed DDS Blue Eyes? Yeah, in there. Like three of them? Unless you're Ruxin. But, cause Ruxin oh yeah, yeah. I, I saw the video, you got scammed, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, so if you open the box, you get all three DDS? You get all three of them. D no, you get one of this, one Dark Magician, one Exodia. But guaranteed? Guaranteed in there, yeah. Back in the day. Bro, and when, when was the game released? 2002. <laughs> yeah. I never heard of that game ever in my life, man, until yeah. I came into Canada. This is a first edition Wavy Dark Magician LOB, Wavy. PSA 10. 
Wow. There hasn't been a recent sale for it, but I would approximate it's around the like same price as this. It's like 15,000, 15 to 20,000. So wavy print, like you said, is... Yeah. So right now it's more sought after, but oh, yeah, it again, is wavy. like I don't... Uh, I don't put a lot of value to it, you know what I mean? Like for me, when I was picking one up, I was just like, you know, get me a copy, I don't care if it's wavy or glossy, but you know, some collectors do care, so. So I have two first edition oh LOB my, Blue Eyes. Oh These are God. like the grails. I have three of them, but one is like in the I bank. Hope. I couldn't get it <laughs> at the time, so. Wow. Okay, how much, yo, I saw something on your story like recently. Mm -hmm. How much did these go for? Like the last sale. Okay, so the last sale, was 85,000 US. Ah! Okay. Um, so a lot of people say like it got shilled. Uh, it got upbid, okay? Upbid means like somebody, uh, you know, bid without the intention of purchasing. I don't think it was shilled. Shilled means like it didn't actually sell, but it actually did sell. Somebody did pay for it and they paid 85,000. Do I think that's the actual market price? I, I don't think so. I think it's around, I would say it's around 40 to 50,000. To be honest with you, did anybody offer for these from you? Uh, like how many? Yeah, personally, personally, I've had I've had like forty five thousand offers. Yeah, forty to fifty thousand dollars. That is absolutely ridiculous, man. And how many of these are in the world? According to a pop report, there's eighty seven of them, but uh, I do believe there's like seven or eight of them that are either mislabeled Asian English or uh, like they've been cracked out or wow. You know what I mean? So, so, I know one of them for sure. I had one actually that. I was supposed to have four of them, but the f third one got damaged. This is a first edition PSA 9. This is a wavy copy. So okay. uh, th this is, I mean, it's not as hype as these two, but again, it's still something. Wow. And then here's another BGS 95 first edition LOB. So, oh, oh, okay, so like in terms of grading services, like which one is, this is like Adidas, this is like Nike, right? Kind of thing? <laughs> like, um, like in terms of grading services? In terms of market value, this these carry more premium. Like, there's no doubt about it. Um, right. In my opinion, BGS cases protect the card better mm. because the way that they seal the card, it's very hard to damage it. Like, uh, trust me, I, I mean, like you've seen this, this is like damaged here, nothing happens to the card. Mm. Um, compared to this, where I've seen a lot of damage happen inside of these cases, that's why if I'm truly trying to protect my card, I would encase it in this, but market value, there's no doubt that this fetches a bigger premium. Wow, that is yeah. ridiculous. So this is probably like my rarest card. This is actually a morphing Jinzo jar. Oh, I've never seen one ever in my life. Yeah. I see a Jinzo, you guys see that? Yeah, so this was like, uh, there Michael. was an error at the time where they combined this one and morphing jar together. It's a very slight misprint, but in my opinion, I think like, I don't know if you can pick that up. You guys see, there should be a Jinzo silhouette at the back. So this is like one of the rarest cards in the world. Yeah, like this one's quite hard to get. I mean, TP2 is like basically non-existent. You can't find that card anymore at if those packs anymore. Each pack is like 200 bucks and you gotta open 108 packs to get a morphing jar. And then I don't know how many packs you have to open to get a Jinzo jar, so. Wow, Strictly Sealed, thank you so much for showcasing your collection, man. Absolutely. Man. So this is like, guys, like you said, approximately $200,000 USD literally right in front of me. And do you ever sell these cards? I don't really sell unless I need to buy something else. Like okay. that's just how I operate. Like when I when I collect or invest or whatever you want to call it, I only really sell when I when I have something else that I'm going to use put the money towards because I don't know what else to be honest to buy. Exactly. I, I, exactly. I don't I don't like fancy yeah. cards or anything like that. So for me this is the way that I like okay. to preserve my money. Nice, okay, so so where can they find you on your socials? Um, so you can find me on Strictly Sealed on IG. Uh, that's where, like if you wanna communicate, ask me any questions or anything like that, that's where I am. On my eBay, it's Strictly Dash Sealed. And on my YouTube, I'm putting out like informational videos right. where I explain like hobby, retail, GX codes, stuff like that. Strictly Sealed on YouTube, okay. I'll leave all the links down below, guys. And oh, last thing. I'll show you guys this. Look at this, one more time, guys. First edition, LOB booster box, right here. Absolutely beautiful, man. And is, was Blue Eyes guaranteeing this? No, no, so you have to open five of these to get one Blue Eyes. Wow. Yeah, which, so, yeah. Like back in the day, like right now, you get four ultra rares, two secret rares, and like a bunch of super rares <laughs> in a box now. Yeah. How, like what's the ratios for these? Like, so the ratio is four super rares uh -huh. and two ultra rares. And if you're lucky, you can get one secret rare. Oh, if oh, if, oh, if I'm lucky, 
yeah. I get one. You get if one. If I'm lucky. Yo, now it's like two, two secret rares guarantee. <laughs> if you're lucky, I'll get five secret rares in a box. <laughs> yeah. That's so. absolutely crazy, man. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the living heck of that thumbs up button. Guys, this is a $200,000 Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. I hope you guys enjoy videos like these. If you guys enjoy, smash the thumbs up button. Check out SS Strictly Sealed on all our social medias in the link down below. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit them up on Instagram, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Strand Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.